Today, I'm going to be trading Devontae Adams to the San Francisco 49ers to see if he can win them a Super Bowl. I mean, this is one of the trades that a lot of people think might happen in the offseason. I honestly cannot see this happening, but if it did, I guess we'll see how it would play out today. I mean, as you can see, Devontae Adams is on the San Francisco 49ers. And with Adams on this team, I mean, Brock Purdy has more than enough weapons to work with. I mean, with a team like this, I'm I'm thinking the 49ers honestly might be your Super Bowl favorites. I know you can never count out Patrick Mahomes, but that offense with Devontae Adams is terrifying. And then obviously, I mean, they do also have a top five defense in the league. And I mean, no surprise, the 49ers went on an absolute tear going 14 and three to win the division and get the number one seed. But it looks like Devontae Adams did end up having a pretty underwhelming season. I mean, he didn't do terrible, but he only had 712 yards for four touchdowns but it looks like we have to play the eight and nine eagles in the divisional round and it looks like philly is gonna get absolutely torched so now we play the bucks for a trip to the super bowl we do start with the ball here so hopefully we can get off to a hot start to this game so i mean it seems like there has been a lot of upsets happening in this playoff so far but McCaffrey is gone that is gonna be a huge play to open up the game with that being said though I mean I know there's been a lot of upsets but I feel like this year honestly might be our easiest route to the Super Bowl just because of all the upsets that have been happening get there Adams that's another first I mean out of all teams I didn't think that we would be playing Tampa for a trip to the Super Bowl and if we win this game we're gonna be playing either the Colts or the Dolphins in the Super Bowl I mean that tells you enough about this season I mean Honestly, as long as we don't have to see Patty Mahomes, which isn't going to be happening this year no matter what, I feel like we should be good. I'm going to try. Oh, that's dangerous. I'm just going to hit McCaffrey. That eh, he dropped it. Thought he was going to bring that in, but either way, I mean, two yards shouldn't be a problem for him as long as we don't get smoked by Vita Ve. We're gone. That was almost a touchdown. We're one yard short. I mean, we're at the one yard line. So I'd say our best bet is just hand it off to McCaffrey again and hope that he can punch this in we almost got swallowed up there but he is gonna power through to contact so that is gonna be a touchdown from McCaffrey and just like that the Niners are gonna take an early lead over the Bucks. as you can see we're coming back out here in the second quarter though I mean since then the Bucks have been playing a lot better I don't know what's going on but their offense has been pretty unstoppable this season Oh, Debo, that's going to be close. He did get the feet down, so that's another one. The thing is, I mean, I wouldn't say we have to rush here, but we only have 55 seconds before halftime. So, I mean, we can't really take our time. That is going to set us back. So, that's going to make it second and 18. I'm just going to try and go back to Debo off of this play. I mean, I'm thinking Adams is going to be locked up. So, yeah, Debo's our best option. That's another first down. I'm just going to try and go back to this play again. I mean, I know I just ran it like two plays ago but it did work out for us so hopefully yeah that might work again that's close once again but we are gonna find Debo for another touchdown so that's gonna tie things up right before the half I mean I'm just hoping we can play better in the second half because I'm not trying to be another victim to the Bucks because it seems like they have been on a tear this postseason I mean we're back out here in the fourth quarter now as you can see we have a very tight game right now. We're only up by one point. So this is a very important drive for us right now. I mean, if we give the ball up here, we honestly might be screwed. If we can score a touchdown though, that is gonna put us up by eight points. So that would be nice. Okay, that's another one from McCaffrey. It seems like they really haven't had an answer for Christian McCaffrey today. I'm gonna switch it up this time though. I don't think Kittle's seen a whole lot of action today. So hopefully he can bring this in. That's gonna be third down. I mean, that definitely does not help out our case i'm really just hoping we can find debo again because as i've said debo has been pretty unstoppable today and it looks like he's gonna be wide open again so that keeps the drive going i'm gonna try and go for another play of debo i mean if this works out we should be set up pretty nicely for a touchdown i just gotta make sure we don't try and do too much here because if we throw an interception that would be an absolute killer but it looks like we're gonna find debo again for another touchdown so that's gonna put us up by eight points as long as we make the pat attempt so i mean hopefully our defense can get the job done and it looks like we are gonna get the job done i mean tampa put up 
up one hell of a fight though they only lost by two points and that's only because they failed on the two-point conversion but either way the Niners are headed to the Super Bowl in year number one but to end off year number one no surprise it looks like Patrick Mahomes ended up winning MVP and it looks like we're going to be taking on the 10 and 7 Dolphins in the Super Bowl once again it looks like we are going to be starting with the ball here I'm just going to try and go for a shot right out of the gate here and see if this works out for us I mean this is kind of dangerous but ah that would have been a crazy grab I was really hoping that would work out for us I got to be careful here though because I mean if I throw the ball to Jalen Ramsey it's over and it looks like we're getting sacked I mean after that our defense did end up getting a stop so we still didn't allow any points I'm just gonna keep it on the ground with McCaffrey this time though I mean, that is an all right pickup. Actually, we only ended up getting two yards off of that play. I thought we got four, but either way, I mean, at least we didn't lose yardage or anything like that. That should work out. We're going to find Devontae Adams for another first. I mean, as I said before, man, Purdy really doesn't have any excuses to play back because he has weapons everywhere we look. That's a first down from Kittle. Like, I know we don't have the best O-line in the league, but other than that, this is probably the best offense I've seen in a long time after you add uh, oh come on Adams let's go after you add Devonte Adams to this team I mean I didn't get rid of Ayuk so we still have Ayuk we got Adams we got Debo we got Kittle we got McCaffrey I mean what else could you ask for that should uh, I'm just gonna try and go back to this play of Devonte here because I mean it did work out the last time I ran it and it looks like that should be the same story this time. I'm going to try and end it off right here with Debo, though. I mean, as long as Jalen Ramsey isn't on our ass, I feel like this play should be able to work out for us. Actually, that's going to be really close. I'm not going to... Ah, uh, never mind. They moved off. It's still intercepted. Okay, no, that was a really bad decision. I thought he wasn't going to be able to get there. I mean, thankfully, after that, our defense got the ball back for us with great field position after forcing a fumble. I got to be careful here, though, because I mean, oh, come on, give me that, Adams. That is a huge play. I was going to say, though, I mean, if our defense wasn't going off today, we would probably be down by two or three scores by now just because of all the mistakes we've been making. This time, it looks like we're finally gonna find the end zone with Devonte Adams so that is gonna give us the lead we had to work for it though I mean I feel like this is probably gonna be a pretty defensive game but as you can see it looks like our offense finally started to go off in the second half so we're gonna get the job done in the first season I mean I had a feeling this was gonna happen after seeing the playoff bracket this is probably gonna be our easiest route that we get so hopefully it's not our last chance we have to win a Super Bowl but unless there's a bunch of upsets every season Season, I feel like this is probably going to be our easiest route. But as you can see, to end off year number one, Brock Purdy and the San Francisco 49ers are going to be hoisting a well-deserved Lombardi trophy. But anyways, that's going to bring us to year number two. This team is exactly the same as it was last season. We got all of our players back in the offseason. And I mean, considering we are coming off of a Super Bowl win, I'd say we have a pretty solid chance at running it back in year number two. And once again, it looks like the 49ers went off going 14 and 3 to win the division and get the number one seed for the second season in a row once again though it looks like Adams had another pretty underwhelming season with 719 yards for only four touchdowns but it looks like we have a tough matchup against the Cowboys in the divisional round I mean in real life no question about it at this point the 49ers kind of own the Cowboys but whenever I do 49ers videos on Madden we usually have troubles against this team I mean that is gonna bring up a third down right there and Dallas has already scored so we're down seven nothing so hopefully we can find Adams to keep the drive alive here but it looks like we're getting smoked by Micah Parsons so that puts an end to a very disappointing drive after that though I mean the Cowboys did try and go for it on fourth down and we stopped them so we're still only down seven nothing that was a bad decision on their end because I mean they could be up by two scores right now but obviously they're not so hopefully we can go down the field and tie things up here i'm gonna try and go back to Devonte adams on this play oh that's dangerous that's an interception bro what are we doing right now that was a really bad read i'm not gonna lie they scored after that too so now we're down 14 nothing i mean it looks like we're kind of digging a bit of a hole for ourselves right now i thought we would be able to sneak it in between both of those defenders but apparently i was wrong hopefully we can make up for it on this drive though i mean we really need to get a score because we are in the second quarter down by two scores right now and we're getting sacked again this has actually been a nightmare start i'm gonna try and go 
for Debo here, and hopefully he can keep this drive alive. If not, we might have a problem today, because, I mean, we are struggling to get first downs right now, and we're getting hit again. So we're giving the ball up again. I had a feeling we were going to have a problem in this game. I mean, we're back out here in the third quarter now. We are down 24 to 6, so things are definitely not looking great right now. I mean, for the most part today, they've kind of had everything we've tried to do locked down. I mean, the ground game isn't working. The air attack isn't working. I don't really know what more we can do here. We're going to find Debo, though, who seems to have a lot of open field, and that's going to turn into a ginormous touchdown. So, I mean, at this point, I feel like we kind of have to go for the two-point conversion. I mean, I wouldn't say we have to, but if this does work out for us, we're only going to be down by 10 points. So, that would put us right back in this game. Uh, everyone's locked up right now adams please get there that's not gonna work so we're failing on that and after that it looks like the cowboys closed things out i mean it was a rough game from the start that that was a very tough one so that's gonna send us home early this season but anyways to end off year number two it looks like this season mvp went to dak prescott it looks like the chiefs are gonna barely take down the cowboys in the super bowl this year but anyways that's gonna bring us to year number three the team is pretty much exactly the same we really haven't changed a whole lot so considering that i'd say our super bowl window has not closed yet i mean we've already got one ring so hopefully we can bring in a second i mean we didn't do as good as last year but we still had a pretty solid season going 11 and 6 to win the division and we play the packers in the wild card round but this season it looks like Devonte adams had another pretty underwhelming season at least with his yardage he only had 694 yards but he did have 10 touchdowns but it looks like we're gonna sneak away with the dub against the Packers so now we play the Bears in the divisional round I mean obviously we're three years into the future now so this is not going to be an easy game to win also Devontae Adams is starting to regress with his age but he is still very solid I mean he hasn't gone down a whole lot he did lose his x factor he's gone all the way down to just a silver superstar whatever the hell you call it but he is still a 94 overall which is what we started at I'm pretty sure because in the first two seasons he was still going up I'm pretty sure Devontae Adams at one point went all the way up to a 97 overall but anyways McCaffrey getting swallowed up I'm gonna try and go for one more run here because I feel like if we can get the run game going against Chicago that is definitely gonna help our chances of winning this game since that got shut down though I mean I'm just gonna try and go for George Kittle here and hopefully he can keep the drive alive for us that should work out that's gonna be another first down so we're still going we're gonna try and go for a shot here with Devonte adams i mean if this can work out it honestly might go for a touchdown i gotta be careful here though i mean i'm not risking anything we're going backwards i mean i just wanted to try and get out of the pocket so i could get rid of the ball there because everyone was kind of locked up but since i couldn't get that to happen actually that's gonna save our ass a whole lot debo's open again i kind of forgot about how broken this play is seven yards to go and we're in i'm gonna try this play with mccaffrey i mean it's a, either a touchdown or we're losing yardage there really isn't any in between and it looks like we are gonna be losing yardage so i mean that definitely is not gonna help out our case i'm just gonna try and go back to debo here worst case scenario i guess we'll be kicking a field goal as actually that should work out on the ground come on come on come on we're gonna get stopped at the one yard line i mean i feel like we have to go for it here man i could probably qb sneak this but i don't want to get stopped behind the line because sometimes that does fail me i have more trust in mccaffrey but we're getting stopped i mean chicago scored twice after that so we are down 14 nothing now things are already off to a rocky start but as long as we score here we are going to be right back in this game so hopefully we can make up for it on this drive McCaffrey still getting swallowed up a few moments later I'm gonna try and end things off with Debo right here though man I mean this is kind of dangerous at the 12 yard line to run this play but if we can get some open field oh my god we're getting sacked again i mean there's no question about it this has been another nightmare start to this game but as long as this works out we are going to be right back in this thing and it looks like we are gonna no way it's picked off again we are off to a terrible start once again
Kittle, please, bro. Okay, we are gonna catch him. That's another interception. I mean, they did score after that. No surprise. So we're down 21 to nothing right now. This defense is actually making me look ass at the game right now. They have been on an absolute tear today. I'm really just hoping we can finally get in the end zone here. I mean, I'm just gonna try and go back to Debo off of this play. And that one should work out this time. Come on, get there. That is gonna be a huge one. That brings it to the five. We only need five yards here. I'm just gonna try and end it off with George Kittle and hopefully we don't throw another interception today. We're getting stopped at the one yard line. If we get stopped on fourth down once again here, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but hopefully McCaffrey can actually punch it in this time. And it looks like we are gonna get stopped again. Switching it up. I'm gonna run it with Devontae Adams because they have had McCaffrey shut down all game so far. Out of all players, Devontae Adams is gonna score a touchdown as a running back. So that is gonna put us on the board finally. I mean, I don't know if I wanna say this game is too far gone at this point, but we definitely need to step it up but as you can see we were not able to step it up so we're gonna take another very disappointing loss to the chicago bears which is gonna send us home for the second season in a row but anyways to end off year number three it looks like joe burrow ended up winning mvp this season and it looks like the cowboys went on to beat the ravens by one point in the super bowl but anyways that's gonna bring us to year number four which is gonna be the final season of this video i feel like we still have a chance but our super window is kind of coming to a close because our players are starting to regress but either way right now the team is still loaded and it looks like the Niners had another pretty solid season going 12 and 5 to win the division once again and we're going to be playing the Falcons in the wild card round Devontae Adams has also gone all the way down to a 90 overall but with that being said he did have his most yardage that he's had so far on the 49ers this season with 832 yards for six touchdowns but it looks like like we're gonna get the win against the falcons so now we play the lions in the divisional round i feel like this is gonna be a pretty difficult game to win but our defense did get an interception to start things off so we have great field position at the 13 yard line here and it looks like mccaffrey's gonna be in for the touchdown on our first play of offense so that is gonna be a very early lead for the 49ers i mean i like what i'm seeing so far i'm hoping we can keep this up i mean after that it looks like we got the ball back again it looks like Debo has also lost his superstar so I don't know what's going on I knew our players have been regressing but I feel like Debo's still pretty young either way I mean McCaffrey still has X factor that's probably the biggest one that we need McCaffrey has been our best player this season it looks like Kittle also still has his X factor so I mean we're still chilling I'm gonna try and go for Kittle off of this play actually never mind because he is locked up so I just gotta keep this on the ground with Purdy I feel I feel like that play that i just tried to run with kittle is kind of busted though i mean he's either wide open for a touchdown or he's caught on players at the line of scrimmage but anyways 11 yards to go and we're in i'm gonna try i mean if iu can be open on this play that would be amazing but i'm thinking he's probably gonna be locked up so it looks like kittle's our best bet so six yards to go and we're in i gotta be careful here though because i mean the last couple of games it seems like we have been struggling in the red zone kittle please get that that is gonna work out for a touchdown this time though so that's gonna put us up 14 to nothing as long as we can keep this up i think we're in pretty good hands and after that it looks like we were able to close things out so that is gonna send the 49ers back to the nfc championship game and this year it looks like we have to play the philadelphia eagles so i mean as long as we get the job done here that is gonna send the niners back to the super bowl this is gonna be another pretty difficult game though i mean i feel like the eagles are never an easy team to beat especially this season i mean considering these guys did get the number one seed and it looks like carter has gone up so he has an x factor now which is absolutely terrifying adams is gonna be wide open though so that is gonna be a pretty solid pickup if you haven't already noticed though we are down three nothing right now but hopefully we can score here and take the lead at the very least we are oh my god we got smoked but we are gonna fall find brandon iu i mean right now at the very least we are in field goal position i'm gonna try and run this play again with debo and hopefully it does work out 
That is gonna be a touchdown. So that's gonna give us the lead in the first quarter. I mean, that was actually a pretty solid drive. So if we can keep playing like this, we honestly might be on our way to another Super Bowl. We're coming back out here in the third quarter though. I mean, as you can see, Philly does have a 10 point lead on us right now. So I feel like we kind of have to score on this drive. That was super dangerous, but it's gonna work out. They kind of snuck up on me though, man. I mean, they got off to a pretty slow start to this game, but ever since we scored our first touchdown, they have been on an absolute tear. We're gonna find Devontae Adams again though. So that's another pretty solid gain. Just trying my best not to make any mistakes right now. I'm gonna keep it on the ground this time and hopefully McCaffrey can get another solid pickup. I mean, that's not the greatest. I'm honestly just happy we didn't lose yardage there. I'm gonna try and end it off with Debo again though. Cause I mean, it seems like every time I need someone to get a touchdown for me, it's usually this guy catching it what a grab we still need two yards here though so i mean i'm just hoping mccaffrey doesn't get stopped behind the line here if he does we might have a problem oh that is not good i am putting all of my trust in the hands of george kittle right now if this doesn't work out i might take the field goal since we are down by 10 points what do I even do here? We're getting swallowed up. Nobody was open. So, I mean, it looks like we are going to have to take the field goal. I mean, either way, as long as we make this, it is going to be a one score game. But still, that is not what I was aiming for. But unfortunately for us, after that, it looks like the Eagles closed things out. I mean, we did put up one hell of a fight. But it looks like Philly was just too much to handle this season. So we're going home and Hertz is headed to the Super Bowl. But anyways, to end off the final season, once again, it looks like Patrick Mahomes is going to be winning MVP. And it looks like the Eagles are going to go on to beat the Colts in the Super Bowl. But anyways, that's going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It'll really help out the channel. And if you have any video ideas, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to get to as many of them as I can. And while you're down there, comment the most random thing you can think of so we can confuse everybody in the comment section. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.